State if the triangle is acute, like me, obtuse, or right. We know that we could use the Pythagorean theorem converse to determine if something is a right triangle by saying a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That's how you know if something's right. But how do you know if something is acute or obtuse? Well, if you take the sum of the two smaller sides, and that's what a and b represent, square them, if that sum is greater than c squared, you have yourself an acute triangle. Similarly, if I were to take the smaller sides and square them and add them together, and the sum of those is smaller than c squared, you have yourself an obtuse triangle. So I have to look at these. And I'm going to say that you're my A and you're my B. And if you're like, whoa, 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 how did you figure that out? A and B doesn't matter as long as you call the longest side C. So I'm going to say, let me get a color I haven't used yet, uh, 9.6 squared plus 18 squared is, I don't know, 20.1 squared. Once I find out that I don't know, I'm in great shape. 9.6 squared is 92.16. 18 squared is 324. And that is going to be 404.01 for 20.1 squared. If I add these two together, I get 415.16. Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, and 416.16 is greater than 404.01. So since the sum of the two smaller sides was greater than the longest side squared, I have an acute triangle, which means all three angles are less than 90 degrees. Kind of tricky, but, you know, when you break this all down, you can kind of be like, oh, okay, I see what that guy did there.